Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Today I wanted to tell you about a product I found recently called the Purple Mattress. Now my mattress was almost 15 years old and uh, they say you're only supposed to keep it, I guess, 10 years. Um, and I was in the market for a mattress and decided to check out the Purple Mattress. So um, it's one that if you've seen it online, you might have seen the commercials where you put an egg on it and you can drop hundreds of pounds onto the egg and it won't mash. Now that was something I had to see. So if you want to find out my opinion on it, stay tuned. Finally the day arrived and our purple mattress was delivered to our door. I got my two of my four daughters to come over and help put it up. So as you can see, it is manageable for two young women to carry it up the stairs. They might not have enjoyed it, but they were able to do it. We got it on the bed, and then we had to figure out how to position it so that it would open. Next up was how to get it out of the container. You can see Audrey is, had opened end of it, and we're trying to figure out where to go from there. We're reading the outside of the instructions. Totally confused. It wasn't as intuitive as I would have thought. You can see I'm reading all the outside of it. And pretty much looking like an idiot. And we finally found the instruction booklet. And when all else fails, you read the instructions and find the knife. They give you a handy dandy little knife to cut down the side of the package. So Audrey took over that. I went back to the instructions and we were gonna get this baby open yet. So we put it back at the foot of the bed and she took their little blade and you can see she's sliding it down. It's amazing when you read instructions how easy it is. Now it did break the blade, so that was a tad of a problem. As you can see the knife came out. So we had to use the partial blade, so that wasn't ideal, but we managed it. And success, we got it open. So we got back to the instructions. You can see, see it's starting to expand. I don't know if you can see it, it's going very slowly, but it's starting to puff up. So we pulled off the plastic and I apologize, but my video quit working. So, but we got it out and the bed is more comfortable than I expected. So I was pleasantly surprised. So we'll go from Have you ever heard of the princess and the pea? Tonight it's gonna be the princess and the egg. I'm going to, I put it in two Ziploc bags, reverse order so that if it does smash during the night, I um, don't mess up my bed. I'm gonna lay it under my sheet and then I'm going to sleep on it. I only sleep on half the bed, so I'm going to be putting it in the middle of this half and uh, see in the morning if it survives the night. So, have a good night. Well, I made it through the night. Uh, these are the little eye masks that came with my mattress. And uh, so I slept on an egg. And it wasn't too bad. I'd feel it once in a while if I turned over or something and then I wouldn't feel it anymore and I'd go back to sleep so um, I think it's intact not sure so I'll let you know so I managed to sleep on an egg without breaking it so I'm taking it out of the plastic and the egg is intact and if there's any question in your mind if it was a raw egg I am cracking it. 
I'm impressed with the purple mattress. I love it. I'm keeping it. And uh, you might want to check it out. Well, that's my story, The Princess and the Egg. It didn't crack, though I slept on it all night. And I love the mattress. I won't be turning it in, even though they had a 100% guarantee. I'm happy camper. So in case you're interested, you might want to check it out and do your own egg experiment. In the meantime, grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing.